Where you going, baby? Nah, you don't have to go nowhere. Celebration. Uh. Celebrate being sexy. Mm -hmm. Let it all hang out. Now don't you stay a while, babe. Uh. Crush grapes is like a lifestyle, babe. What? I like your smile and your lifestyle, babe. Oh, really? Crush grapes is like a lifestyle, babe. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Grazie. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. Mr. 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 Cabernet. Mr. So, it's become very fruit forward now, um, the fruit, the fruit is, is very, very present. Um, I'm tasting cherries, I'm tasting raspberries, I'm tasting, uh, pomegranate, even, uh, a lot of red, juicy fruits. <laughs> Juicy fruit. Yeah, this is very interesting. 
because uh, I wasn't even going to taste this wine, honestly, on the show. I'm glad I did. This is a lot better than it was last night. See, don't let wines trick you. You see, always taste a wine again. Don't count it out. If you, you know, if you have, if you're really interested in a wine, you want to really see how it develops. You want to learn uh, the characteristics, the true character of a wine. Taste it, you know, uh, at night and taste it again in the morning or taste it you know uh, taste it right away and then leave it open for like <clears throat> an hour and then go back to it and see how it tastes and see how it smells and see what's become of the wine in that short time uh, or you can do new school and just you know buy an aerator and just aerate the wine you know, or, or, uh, or buy a uh, a carafe. Um, I, I like, I'm old school. I like to let the wine breathe. And, uh, you know, I think that's the best way. Same thing with your chilling wine. I don't like to throw it in the freezer. Uh, you know, I like to put it in the fridge or the wine cooler, uh, temperatured, and let it cool and chill properly because the grapes do. Uh, if you speed up the process of, of cooling them, it will affect the taste as well. All of, this is all about the character and, and personality of wine. They all have different personalities. So I'm going to give this, um, this is pretty good. I'm going to give this a, a, uh, a three on my five bottle rating because I like its character. It's showing character. It's grown on me. Uh, I was really actually not going to taste it. And uh, I was going to count it out, but I didn't. And you shouldn't either. It's a 2009 Antonio Ropes. From the Spoa, Portugal, Reserva, 12.5% alcohol. And um, very soft, uh, fresh, red fruit forward mouthful of red fruit, you know, the second day, <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, the, the tannins are very medium, it's, it's, a, it's a very soft wine, it's not um, a big wine, <clears throat> I say medium body, and, um, I'm, you know, the bottle says, you know, pair with uh, red meat dishes, fowl, hunt, uh, dishes and spicy cheeses. For those who don't know what a, a fowl hunt is, it's like a, a bird that you hunt, basically. So chicken or a duck or a pheasant or, you know, those are all fowls. Um, but, you know, depending on your palate, you don't have to pair it with that. You pair it with, you know, what goes with, you know, what your palate buys. So I'm actually pairing it with a shrimp cocktail. Um, I made my own cocktail sauce. So, that works for me. So, I recommend that you go out, uh, find this wine, and uh, enjoy it with uh, some friends or by yourself with uh, perhaps some shrimp cocktail or some hunted fowl or... <laughs> or any spicy cheeses or whatever you want to go with but um it's 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 definitely crushed worthy so this has been another episode of uh cat cabernet's wine of the day a division of crushed grapes tv and if you don't know by now crushed grapes is a lifestyle cheers sip it slow Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cat Cabernet. Cat Cabernet.